Okay, so they're uncellophane now. I wasn't actually going to do a review of these. These were a totally unintentional purchase, so I don't have a spare palette to dry them into. So what I'm going to do is take uh, three or four spare wells I've got in a palette that I've just emptied, pop a few colours in. I won't do the whole series. Um, we'll just see how they paint once they've dried down, how they dry down and everything else. And that'll be good because I only need to mix glycerine into a few different colours. And then I'll give you my impressions of them and then I'll paint with them another day and do an update video that goes through how they look when they paint. So I'm going to pick five colours because I don't want to really do any more than that. And I'm going to pick... Well, violets can be bloody awful in cheap ranges, so we'll have violet. I love viridian as a colour, so we'll have that too. I think Prussian blue would be interesting. The two reds to see if they're different. So we'll just start with those five. And I'll come back in just a moment once I've dispensed them. Okay, very first impressions, the textures are very variable. If you look here at these two reds, I've got on the right, allegedly viridian, sorry, vermilion, allegedly vermilion here, but it's very orange. It was very, very runny and very bubbly when it came out of the tube. Crimson, on the other hand, is much more viscous. It's sitting here quite happily holding its own, whereas um, violet was somewhere in between. It's tar-like. Over here, Viridian and Prussian Blue, both extremely runny. So the textures are very variable. I don't know how that's going to translate once they've dried down, but I'm going to add a drop of glycerine to each and give them a mix. OK, I've got a confession to make. It's been two and a half months since I started this review of the Artist Loft watercolours. If you remember, I put them into a palette and left them to dry, and that was where I left it. After they dried down, I painted them out, and these are my observations. So that Artist Loft watercolour set, which was £5 with 12 12 milliliter tubes, which is pretty similar in price to the uh, Royal and Langnickel set, which was a, about the same price, and it was also 12 12 milliliter tubes. The vermilion, first of all, vermilion is usually an orangey red, and this indeed is an orangey red, a warm red, and it's quite nice, a little bit of granularity, reasonably good. The crimson, now crimson is traditionally quite granular, and that is a reasonably good granular red there. The violet's a little bit insipid, a little bit chalky. Um, dioxazine violet, which is, this is what this is almost certainly made of, is a dye, so it shouldn't have any granulation at all. The fact that it does indicates that there is a lot of filler in here. It's also pretty faint. Dioxazine violet is really cheap, so why they stint on it and don't put so much in, I don't know. Viridian, which I always find is an interesting uh, inclusion in these sets because it's invariably fake. This is not Viridian. It doesn't even look like Viridian. This is Thalo Green mixed with a filler. OK, so if you're going to claim you've got a Viridian, guys, it needs to be a bluey green, not a pure green. I mean, this is slightly blue, but... It's no Viridian that I've ever seen, and Viridian is one of my favourite paint colours. So just call it Thalo Green and stop doing this ridiculous business. Quite a lot of paint sets do this. They claim a Viridian when it's really a Thalo Green. Just call it Thalo Green, there's nothing wrong with that. Prussian Blue is another favourite of mine. It should be a granular, slightly greenish blue, but very dark and very midnighty. And that's exactly what this is. So that's a pretty nice Prussian Blue. There's a nice crimson, a good vermilion, a good violet. The viridian just mislabeled, but it's a good green all the same. The violet and the viridian, you know, these are phthalo, phthalo green and dark design violet should be dye-based, so they should give you a really even coating on the page. Just compare this green gold here. Should give you an even coating. That's green gold by a different manufacturer. Should give you an even coating. The fact that they don't tells me there is a lot of filler in this set. Are they worth buying? They don't mix brilliantly. I've tried it out. They go very muddy because they are mixtures of dyes. They don't declare what dyes are in them, so it's really hard to tell. Do I recommend them? If you're a scrapbooker or an art journalist and you just want to paint them straight from the tube to add some colour with no intention of mixing, then yes, go right ahead and buy them. They are perfectly good for that kind of purpose. 
If you want to be able to mix them and actually use them for something, then no, I wouldn't recommend them. For the sake of the fact that they were five pounds for a set of 12, look, all you need to start painting really are six colors. You need a warm and a cool of red, yellow, and blue. That's all you need to set yourself up. If you buy Cotman tubes at two pounds 50 each, the set of six of those is going to be a little bit more expensive, but they mix properly, they behave properly, and they'll give you some really beautiful effects. You can also get Cotman Sketcher sets, which have got those colours plus even more, usually reduced in the sale to like seven or eight pounds uh, for a 12 half pound set of Cotman. I would recommend you buy those and give Artist Loft a miss if you're a beginner painter who wants some paints to actually work. If you want to get a child interested in art, these are not paints to do it with, unless you just want something you can use straight from the tube to paint a poster or a scrapbook page or an art journal page. Steer clear of these paints. They don't mix well. They're full of fillers and they're just not going to give you a good time. And I think, hey, if you're new to watercolour, you want things to work. You want to be able to watch a tutorial on YouTube or watch a video on YouTube, try it out and get it to work. And if you can't, you're going to give up really quickly. You want good experiences when you're a beginner, and these are not the paints for a beginner watercolourist. These are paints for someone who wants to slap them on the page straight from the tube, and that is all. Music